Hello there, I am Giant Gorl from my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we started, we um, exited a bed, we went downstairs from our bedroom after beating uh, the Elite Four. And uh, our dad was there, he gave us, well, Mr. Briny gave us an excess ticket. Um, yeah, from Mr. Briny, actually, which I forgot to do, actually, I forgot to go visit his sea cottages. Uh, his go visit his sea cottage in last part. I'm gonna do that after the end of this part, actually, just to make up for it because I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, we can uh, with that ticket, we can f I think we can sail from Lily Cup City or Slayport City to uh the Battle Tower, which I won't really be showing off. It's like tower where we can just battle a lot of trainers and stuff again. I think if you be a certain amount of trainers, or all of them in round one or whatever, in a round, then you'll get like a metal coat from uh, someone on top of the tower. That could be Leaf Green. I'm Leaf Green if I read them, mixing that up with, but. I don't know for sure, but yeah, I'm not gonna really show it off because it's not necessary. I don't feel like showing it off, so uh, sorry. <laughs> just my, not my cup of tea. So now we also reached Rayquaza by going to the Sky Pillar, going to this annoying bike puzzle with a mock bike that you only, you have, you had to have in the mock bike to get through this puzzle because these cracked fours as soon as you step on them or uh, don't pick up speed up with the mock bike or aqua bike. Well, with the aqua bike, you automatically fall through down to the floor level, previous level. But we made it through the puzzle. I have a uh, Metroid up front, because Metroid has Ice Beam, and then, you know, Equaz has uh, Dragon Flying type, so it's four three times a week to Ice type moves. Maybe I'll freeze it too, that'd be pretty cool. So let's talk to Equaz and battle it. That's like, I like its, I like its field sprite, it kind of looks pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't even do a little cry window, it's just, it just like growls at us or something, you know? So this requires a level 70, it's genderless, yeah, cool. So let's go for the ice beam to, to start off, I guess. So we are 13 levels below, oh, Metroid is 13 levels below Equaza right now. Okay, news fly, okay. Um, let's go for the sludge bomb, it's probably gonna miss, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, okay, cool. It's gonna use fly, of course, that does over one ha over half of Metroid's HP. Please do not poison it, I kind of regret, you know, uh, Using okay, fuck it. Use rest to go to sleep. Okay, cool. So hopefully, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna really heal. Well, I guess I could heal just to be safe. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, let's go. Let's use a hyper potion then. Just get like the. I know. I'll at least have one turn to heal. I guess, but I could be wrong. Let me see. It's gonna be fast as a baker. Cool. Nice. So now that Metro is full heal, we can go back and use another ice beam. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so it does about. Uh, it's good. It's still sleep too. Let's use waterfall now. Hopefully, it doesn't faint it. I'm hoping it doesn't. That'd be nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. It woke up. Of course. It's gonna just fly. I guess we can. We can use that ultra ball. Um, what's in there? I believe too. So that's pretty cool. Let's try an ultra ball. Even though it's only in its yellow health and it doesn't have a stack, it just move on or sash condition. On, on it, yeah. One, two, three. Oh, come on! It th it shook three times. It would have been the first Ultra Ball. Are you kidding me? Don't tease me like that. Do not tease me like that. I feel like it's, I feel like it's gonna use rest now, so I'm gonna heal up too. I'm gonna just predict that, you know, off of my, my better judgment, I guess you could say. Nope, it's gonna use extreme speed, but it it shook three times there, and it, it teased me. Are you kidding me? I would have been the first Ultra Ball too. Let's go for another Waterfall. I can't go for another Ice Beam because it'll faint it. But I'll stay just rest though. I th I'm going to try one more uh, Waterfall. Okay, now I uh, Metroid's probably going to faint now. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, let's see. Who is, um... I'm going to go through my Pokemon's movesets real quick because I want to see if I can get a... Put it in the Deep Reds or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I might as well just send a bulky Pokemon. So I can't, if I didn't want to be a good choice because it knows fly, because right quick, 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 knows fly there. I had to burp there for a second, that's why I paused. Yeah, so and then same with Geico, you know, it's weak to find type moves. Um, I guess we go with Skarmory because uh, if he uses fly, I mean, it'll be super effective on Skarmory because it's, or Screamo because it's half skill type Pokemon. Let's try that, yeah. 
Okay, so let's try another Ultra Ball. We have 14 after this, nice. Okay. Nope, of course, let's just check once that time. Outrage, of course. Not very effective, good. That's good. That's good for us. Oh my gosh. Just outrage again. Oh man, finally. Okay, now it's gonna. Oh shoot, now it's confused. Ah! This stinks. I'm, I'm not gonna even worry about fuel and screaming because I wanna get chuck into the Ultra Ball at it, you know? One, two, three. We caught it, awesome. That didn't take too long. Well, I started with like 16 Ultra Balls, didn't I? Yeah, we caught it because it's awesome. Because it did, it was out of the Pokedex, awesome. Because it's number 200 in the Hoenn Dex, uh, it's name is Aquarius, of course. It's a Sky High Pokemon. It's 23 feet tall, jeez. I guess that's like the length, too, actually. Of, uh, if it's body. It weighs 155.2 pounds. It doesn't have a footprint, apparently. Um, Aquarius lived for hundreds of millions of years in the Earth's ozone layer, never descending to the ground. The, this Pokemon appears to feed on water and particles in the atmosphere. That's cool. Let's give it a uh, yeah, um. Does Ray Manchester fit if we turn no spaces? Because Ray Manchester is actually a, a character in uh, the Nickelodeon sitcom, live action sitcom Henry Danger. And he is a. He's kept a man, guys! <laughs> yeah. Um. It does Ray, does Ray Manchester fit with the no spaces? Man, I'm just gonna spell it this way. Ray Manchester. I guess we could do like Ray Man, like the video game character. Um, like, you know, but it can also be like a mashup of, um, Ray Manchester from Henry Danger. And, uh, played by Co the actor Cooper Barnes, by the way. Cooper Barnes. Um, but, uh, and then Captain Man. So, like, Captain Man, like, Man, as in Ray, Manchester, Ray, and then Captain Man, Man, Ray, Man. What's the name of Ray, Man? That's, that's cool. Ray, Man was sent to the PC. Cool. Okay, so, I'm, how many escape rooms do I have? Because I'm honestly... I, I don't mind exiting normally, but if I had an escape rope, that'd be pretty cool too. I have one escape rope, okay, I'm gonna save that actually. Let's actually just, uh, make our descent, make our way down. So I'm gonna put a fighter up to the front, because fighter propels Pokemon, well, Pokemon that are level 56 and below. So that's pretty cool. And just to be safe, I'll put, um, fighter in the first slot, I guess. Just in case it has to be like the first one, even though Metroid's fainted, but um, also low 57. Your repels affect off. Of course they did, yeah, nice. So, yeah, how many repels? How many? We used at least four Ultra Balls, I think, because we had 16 by the beginning of this part. Uh, so, you only used four Ultra Balls to catch a quiz, that's awesome. Yeah, let's just quickly just fall through the previous. Um. Cracked fours, I guess. Okay, yeah. Nice. There we go. Here's the exit. Nice. Okay, so I think we can fly right here, right? Yeah, switch on my Pokemon here. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's, uh... Let's fly to, uh... It's part of Moss Deep, I guess. I also want to buy some more Ultra Balls, too. So let's go in the Pokemon Center. Let's heal Pokemon first. There we go. I can heal over Pokemon. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's okay. Cool. Okay, so yeah. Let's go for, um, wait, that's PC, I guess. Uh, move Pokemon, I guess, just to view, uh, Rayman's stats or summary. So, yeah. 
Rayman is, um, its ability is, it's dragon flying type, uh, its ability is airlock negates weather effects, uh, tr uh it's mild nature, level, meta level 70, sky pillar, nice, okay. Uh, it doesn't have any items or ribbons. It's, it has 248 HP, its attack is 227, its defense is 127, its special attack is 238, 238, its special defense is 146, and its speed is 138. Cool. It knows the most fly vest extreme speed and outrage. So yeah. That's pretty cool. And fly smart, vest is cute. Cool is, uh, <laughs> extreme speed and outrage are cool. Nice. Okay, so let's buy some more Ultra Balls and stuff. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna almost buy like Pug Balls and Great Balls too. I'm actually buy like, um, 20, uh, make sure they're all like 20, I guess. So I'm gonna buy 6 Pug Balls, uh, 7 Great Balls, uh, 8 Ultra Balls. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. Let's start with the Ultra Balls, I guess. Eight ultra balls. Okay, how many great balls do we need? I forget. Seven great balls. Okay, cool. So let's fight a Pokemon Center or Pokemon City that has a Pokemon that says great balls. I think it'd be Marvel City. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong about this. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, it says Pokeballs and Great Balls. Nice. So let me just double check. I need by three. I need by seven Great Balls and six Ultra Balls. Okay, or six Pokeballs. Nice. So six Pokeballs and seven Great Balls. There we go, nice. I'm gonna go back to my bag, shoot, or my Pokemon. Not yet, at least. Yeah, so 20 Pokeballs, 20 Great Balls, 20 Ultra Balls, 1 Master Ball, 1 Nest Ball, 1 Repeat Ball, nice. Okay, that's cool. Let's fight, um, I think it's, uh, Petalburg City, yeah, nice. To see if Mr. Bunny's back at his card, I could be wrong, but I think he might be, actually. So my theory when I said I went this project, like, where does Mr. Barney go after you get the HMZ with the Surf? I could be wrong. I guess you could say I'm like debunking the theory, I guess, but uh, we'll see. No, Mr. Barney's not here, of course. Okay, so where does he go after you get the HMZ with the Surf from Wally's parents, I guess? After you beat your dad, Norman, at the Puddleburg City Gym. I guess the world may never know. I'm just kidding, I don't know. There's probably an answer out there, I just, to, I just don't know the answer, honestly, if there was an answer. So let's, uh, let's go back to the Pacific Walk Town, I guess. Okay. Pull up back to off, okay, cool. Um, I think I want to end the part right here, because the next part we're going to take on unlocking the Reggie's basically so that's gonna be fun so yeah I'm not gonna battle all the trainers on the uh, currents west of um uh pedal pacific walk town though because I'll show you on my Pokenav right now actually Pokenav um home map so here we're in pacific walk town routes 132 route 132 133 and 134 or, um, somewhere around here is the currents that we have to get through to do a certain puzzle. I think we have to have a certain amount, a certain, uh, I think we, we need Relicanth and, um, World War II, World War II, yeah. And then, uh, this, West Currents, those currents actually, that water, that water route actually ends up being, uh, where you can, we end up, uh, back in Slapewood City, because West, East of Slapewood City are those routes, uh, 134 to be exact, I believe. So, yeah, who's gonna stay behind in the two, um, Okay, so I need, I need Metroid, well, I don't need Metroid. I guess Fighter and Metroid could stay in the piece because they're higher level, they're highest level. And I need two slots in my party to get, um, Wailward and, um, Wailward and, uh, really can't out. So let me do that, yeah. My need PC. Let's move Pokemon. Um, let's see here. Big Blue, nice. 
and tough. Nice, okay. I forget who has to be in the first slot in the party and who has to be in the last slot of the party. But I don't know by the next part because I'll research it off screen because I can't remember honestly. But yeah. Okay, so uh, I think you'll need Surf, Dive, uh, Rock Smash, or is it Cut? I think it's Cut. I'll, f I'll figure it out on the next, by the next part, but I just want to make sure I at least had uh, Big Blue, my whale, my whale Lord, and uh, Tough, my Relicanth, in my party for right now. So, let me see. I'm going to actually teach some TM HMs real quick. So, uh, can anyone like, can either of them like cut, honestly? Nope, of course not. Okay, whatever. Okay, so, Surf. Yeah, but TM. Okay, Big Blue already knows Surf. Cool. Uh, strength, no, um, rock smash, well, let's just dive, I guess, cause we'll need dive. Okay, yeah, he already knows it, cool. It should be good then, but I wanna make sure I have all the HMs and do and stuff. So yeah, this has been the my Pokemon Ruby, we do like the part, next part we'll take on the routes west of, um, Pacific Oak Town, battle a couple of trainers on the way, I guess, and, uh, unlock the veggies with what we need, the HMs we need, and the Relicanth and the Wayward that we need that I've, that I have my party right here, actually, so yeah. So yeah, the next part I'll show, I'll tell you what HMs you need for sure, and, uh, yeah, I definitely, you definitely need a Wayward and a Relicanth to do this, to unlock the veggies. So yeah, this has been Giant Go again, I would like to thank you for goodbye, and I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon movie, Redo, Walkthrough Guide.